Hi everybody, so in this video we're going to talk about the labeled data versus unlabeled data. And this is something it's, uh, which is important for you to understand if you are into machine learning where we talk about the supervised learning methods and then unsupervised learning methods. So supervised machine learning algorithms is about, is, uh, is about uh, processing labeled data and the unsupervised machine learning algorithms are about processing and deriving insights from the unlabeled data. So now the question is, what is labeled data and what is unlabeled data? So I have a data set over here, very, you know, a uh, very, uh, uh, just a you know, brief snippet of an actual data set. So this data set over here is a housing price data set. So you've got the attributes or, you know, you may want to call it features. So you've got the attributes information and you've also got the price information. So with, the, with this data set, we are trying to predict the housing price. So this variable over here, the variable that you want to target, which is our price variable, you have that price variable in your data set. So this is an example of a labeled data set. So anytime you have your target variable in your data set, then that is your labeled data set. Now switching over to unlabeled data set. So this one over here is another data set. So uh, this is actually a social media data, data set where uh, there's values over here uh, defines how many times a certain word was repeated for a particular person. So in this case over here, we have uh, the features or attributes like you know, friends, basketball, uh, football. But in this case, you know, we don't really have a target variable. We've got certain um, attributes information, the features information, but in this case, we do not really have a target variable. So anytime you do not have a target variable, then that's what we call the unlabeled data set. So what do we do when we have the unlabeled data set? So this kind of unlabeled data set is, uh, is um, useful when uh, we are trying to find out our target customers. And that is something our unsupervised learning algorithms such as clustering would help would be helpful. So with this kind of unlabeled data set, we cannot really do any prediction, but then we can identify our target group for any kind of, you know, maybe marketing purpose or maybe, uh, you know, for the customer segmentation purpose where you are trying to identify your customers. For example, by running some machine learning algorithms like um, clustering algorithms like maybe, you know, Cayman's algorithm, you might be able to find out um, the similarity in the uh, behavior of the people. And based on the similarity, you may just want to cluster them. So when you cluster, you might just be able to, ident you may be able to group people who have similar kind of interest, maybe football interest. Maybe uh, you'd be able to define a cluster where the data elements in that cluster are, you know, are, you know, people who believe in Jesus, or maybe, you know, people who are very much into um, shopping or something like that. So anytime where you don't have a target variable, then that would be your unlabeled data set. And uh, these kind of data sets are uh, general processed through unsupervised machine learning algorithms like, you know, clustering. And the idea with the clustering algorithms is to cluster or bring together or you know, group people with similar kind of characteristics together. And this kind of um, unsupervised machine learning algorithms with the unlabeled data set is useful, especially if you are trying to identify the customer group uh, or your you know, target customer group for which you want to maybe, you know, uh, promote your product or maybe, you know, do some kind of ad campaign.